Hey there, it's your MC operator here. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, today, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite uh, brands of firearms. Um, but before we get into the video, um, I wanna take this time to thank some supporters of the channel. Um, first and foremost, my beautiful bride, um, always there to support me in my endeavors. Um, several gun stores that uh, helped me not only with my uh, channel, but also with my instruction. Um, they feed me students and referrals. Uh, so Integrity Arms, uh, thank you uh, so much for your continued support. Um, the Stockton Gun Exchange, um, also an amazing group of guys over there. Um, the Last Stand, great buddies and great friends of the channel. Uh, and also Outdoor Sportsman, um, another fabulous uh, gun store here in this area as well. Um, but let's get to uh, the CZ. Um, the CZ model that we're going to talk about today, um, to me, is the absolute Goldilocks uh, in size. Um, we're looking at the CZ P01. So this beautiful firearm here. Um, and you can see I've made a few uh, personal changes, obviously. Um, but the CZP01, again, I would say is, well, it's just the perfect size. Um, and it is a direct competitor to, um, obviously, the most popular handgun um, sales, and that's the Glock 19. Um, so let's get the um, specs out of the way first, and then we'll talk about the things I think that are really make this firearm special and should be truly looked at when you are heading towards your purchases. Um, first of all, um, if you don't live in a, a restrictive state like I do, um, your normal mag capacity will be 14 rounds. Um, but we are here in California, so obviously we are uh, 10 rounds only. Um, and then it is uh, an aluminum frame, um, but that really, um, to me, is amazing because it just really feels like an absolute firearm in your hand. So there's not like, it's not a plastic wonder firearm. I mean, it feels like like, like a gun. So, um, but it's not too heavy. Actually, like again, it's just that perfect Goldilocks size. Um, really can play many roles, and we'll talk about that as we go move forward. Um, the barrel length um, is 3.75 inches. Um, so again quite the perfect little combination uh, and competitive to the Glock 19, which is about four inches uh, in barrel length. Um, the weight is 28.1 ounces. Um, so it is a metal gun, aluminum, but again, not too heavy at all. It really feels uh, pretty amazing in your hand, really. Um, the overall length is 7.2 inches. Um, the width, uh, not too wide, it's a 1.38 inches. Um, and the height to me is perfect. It's um, about 5.03 inches. So really um, just fits perfectly in your hand. Um, the caliber, um, we're looking at nine millimeter. Um, so, which is definitely kind of become the caliber of choice in all reality. I mean, obviously there are some other calibers that are great as well. I mean, if you're a true 45 caliber guy, okay, great. You know, if you want to do the 40, you know, 40 cal, you know, that's all good too. And I mean, I'm sorry, 45 ACP. That's, I don't want to insult some of our, you know, <laughs> 45, you know, ACP guys. Um, but this firearm here is NATO approved. Um, so it went through some really rigorous um, trials to, uh, you know, get its support from the military and it, across the country and across the world, it's definitely one of the most uh, used duty firearms. So um, highly, highly uh, sought after all over the all over the world, really. Um, but let's talk about some things that I think are amazing about this thing. For me, um, again, I don't have the largest hands in the world, so. Uh, the grips that come on there are really nice, you know, but they have a kind of a hump in there. Um, and so, and that really kind of thickens the grip for me. So um, as you see, I went ahead and put some slim grips on there and also too, just to kind of personalize it. 
um, so it's nice and slim, you know, but yet it still has a nice texture right in here, so, you know, still is nice and, you know, solid in your hands when you uh, get your master grip. Um, you can also see uh, the fact that because of, as I mentioned, my eyes are horrible, um, I had uh, it milled for a RDO, and the RDO that I chose for this one, really because of the uh, kind of slight um, profile, it's not very wide. So the normal like RMR or the Holosun 507C, which I normally choose on my firearms, just wouldn't fit. There's not enough real estate on top. So I chose the Vortex Venom, um, which is still a great uh, manufacturer and I chose the 6 MOA uh, so it's really for quick acquisition um, not necessarily you know for bullseye shooting but to me I don't find it uh, difficult to shoot bullseyes with this as well but it is that uh, dot is really made for quick acquisition so self-defense um, but again I think it's just fine and dandy when you want to shoot really precise shots as well um, it comes with um, a Picatinny slot so, um, and you guys all know that I'm, you know, a huge advocate of uh, lights on my home defense and on my, even my um, carry firearm. So, um, I've installed the uh, Compact, the, um, this is the Enforce uh, Compact, which I think fits on there nice and handsome, and, you know, it kind of has a nice profile. Um, and just so you guys know, we have safety checked these things, so... We are dealing with a straight safe firearm, so all good there. I do have a snap cap, which I have installed, but because this is not uh, a firearm, you want to do a lot of uh, dry firing on, um, actually single shot, you can do it all day long, but the double action, you don't want to drop the hammer on this double action a lot without something in the chamber. So snap caps, when you're doing your uh, dry fire practice is uh, highly su suggested. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and reinstall that. And then what I like about this is also too, it has a nice decocker, which actually is in a great place. So when you hit that, it'll go to the half clock position, um, which makes this a really uh, safe way to uh, carry this firearm. Um, so when you actually go to holster it, you would just basically put that thumb on the back of the hammer and as you insert into the holster, you can make sure that it's not moving and you're not putting anything in jeopardy to uh, yourself or <laughs> obviously any, anyone else for that matter, but mostly for yourself when you're reholstering. Um, we talked earlier about it being the Goldilocks firearm. Um, it has just the perfect size to either be, you know, your home defense weapon. Um, or, like I said, it has, it's extremely carryable. So it is definitely one of my go-tos uh, for my everyday carry. Um, it's really between this one and one other one, which is uh, my... HK VP9 SK um, and so they both are high in my rotation um, obviously I, I carry a Glock 19 as well um, which I'll be comparing this to here shortly but these are my go-to's um, and one thing that makes uh, the P01 and other CZ's so amazing um, and again I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this magazine again real quick and drop this snap cap out of there but one thing I want to show you is this. I don't know if you can see this all that well, but the slide, the rails are actually inside the other, uh, they are inside the frame. So typically your firearms will be, uh, your over, your rails be over. This one, the rails are inside. And so it keeps a very low borax, but it also keeps it a very flat shooting firearm. So easy to keep on target, easy to be very accurate with it. Um, and like I said, when, and when you install 
um, the red dot. Uh, and again, I hope I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I get mine milled at Primary Machine, and they do fabulous work. Um, and they actually do it very specific to the actual uh, RDO that you send to them. So it's really a very precise fit. Um, but with that being said, um, extremely flat shooting, extremely accurate, um, and just, <laughs> again, one of the, the most amazing shooting firearms that you could purchase. So, like I said, when people come to the gun store, it's, you know, top of mind for most people are the Glock or, you know, even the Springfield XDs. Um, those all tend to be sort of top of mind. Um, and a lot of people will walk right past this firearm, which, you know, for us CZ guys, <laughs> you know, we're okay with that because... Um, they are definitely not the easiest firearms to find. Um, like when I was searching for this firearm here and I, I was kind of vacillating between this one and uh, another model, which is called the, uh, it's the CZ Compact PCR. Uh, and that is rail list, but it's a beautiful firearm. And so I was kind of vacillating back and forth, but I had a lot of time to think about it because finding either one was like an absolute unicorn search so it took me months to even stumble across either one of them um they're shipped in and then they're usually just snatched up and also they come in very small um kind of small batches too so it's not like there's an abundance of them out there um but you know when they do arrive they don't stay uh, available for long they tend to fly right out the door but, um, and for good reason, um, they are outstanding. And this is definitely, um, so the CZ-75 um, is probably one of the, the most um, copied and duplicated firearm in the world. So there's clones of the uh, CZ-75 all over the place. Um, and the big brother to this firearm, the CZ SPL-1, uh, which is the full size all you know, steel version of this firearm. Um, again, one of the most amazing shooting firearms that you're going to come across. And carryable, but it's a lot heavier. Um, it's probably gonna be in the neighborhood of like 40 ounces, the SPO one. So they're really solid and really heavy, but um, that also soaks up, up the recoil of the soft nine millimeter as well. So, you know, the SP-01 is absolutely perfect for home defense. It also has the Picatinny rail for um, your weapons lights. So, um, highly recommend those CZs. Um, if you want a more, if you're a smaller frame, or maybe even a, a female who doesn't really want to have weapons light, um, there's another CZ that's even, even more carry friendly, and that's the Rami. Um, the 75 Rami and I owned one of those as well and uh, which again great firearm um, I just kind of outgrew it um, and so for me you know my firearms have to have a purpose so I repurposed that Rami but still it's something that, that I suggest to some of my female shooters and you know when they're looking to find good carry firearms the Rami is definitely going to be one that I'll suggest to them as well, just because of uh, what a solid firearm it is, um, and also too uh, the size. It's extremely carryable. So, but CZs they have plenty in their arsenal that bear uh, your sort of <laughs> research. Um, you have. The 45s, uh, which is, I believe is the CZ 97. Um, you have, well, you used to have the target uh, as an option, but I, I believe that is no longer allowed here in California. So, but if you can find one on the used market, also, uh, you know, especially if you are a tournament shooter, that's a great fire. Maybe you've come across one. Um, if you have access to uh, maybe buying, you know, a little, a little extra cash. 
uh, you can look online and you know arm or something and may pick up a uh, CZ uh, P10C also a great firearm that's, the, that's a striker fire uh, more on the lines of the Glock and such um, also they have the what's the other one they have that uh, is also amazing the um, oh it's escaping me but um, again Oh, I know why, because I, <laughs> I don't get a chance to shoot them. Um, but they have some other high-end competition uh, CZs that are just also absolutely incredible. But, you know, you're going to pay upwards to two grand per model for those. So uh, just prepare to come out of pocket if you're buying them um, and they're not on our roster. It's not going to be a cheap uh, venture for you. But... Again, highly worth it. Um, but now let's talk about um, comparing to the most popular handgun in the world, Glock 19, which I just happen to have one right here. This is my uh, Glock 19, which is from, it's fitted with all um, L2D combat pieces. So we're gonna check this for safety. So we have an empty firearm, no magazine. So we're totally safe there. So let's do a little comparison in size. And I th everybody knows that the Glock 19 is the absolute go-to for most people when they want to carry. Let's get rid of that. So let's line them up here. And now if you're looking slide to slide, um, you can see they're really close. And the only thing that's going to vary here really is uh, the RDO is going to change the perspective. But other than that, I mean, they are just really about the same. So, and weight wise, obviously slightly heavier, but you know, again, not much heavier. So, again, whatever your purpose of use for um, your next purchase, the CZP01 can definitely be something that might just fit that bill. Um, and if you have a chance to shoot one before you know you actually make your choice, um, I guarantee you, there's you're not going to be disappointed. Um, it is, again, one of the best shooting firearms that I've ever, you know, had the pleasure of putting down range. So um, I will definitely always sort of, you know, let my students shoot mine just so they can kind of have that same experience. Because, again, most people, when they start researching firearms, actually, well, let me rephrase that. Most people don't research firearms. They kind of go, hey, what do you think I should buy? And so, um, you know, I don't like making up people's minds for them. So what I'll do is I'll put together a list of like five firearms, depending on what their uh, purpose of use is. I'll switch up the five, depending on what I think might fit the bill for what they're talking about. And then, but I guarantee you uh, in that mix, there's gonna be uh, a CC among it because I want them to understand just the value you're gonna get from uh, a quality firearm and a quality company. Um, so, Next time you're out there at the gun store, you know, put your hands on some CCs, you know, give them a try. Um, if you have an opportunity to rent one from uh, the next uh, range you go to, I highly recommend you do that. Um, if you have some friends who might have one, by all means, do what you can to sort of uh, put some down range from a CZ. And I bet you by the next time we see each other, <laughs> you'll have one in your arsenal as well. Um, so with that being said, um, this is your MC operator signing out. Thank you so much. Take care now.